camera. Okay. Give it to me. Give it. Off. Give it. Off. Give down. It. Down. Give it. Many films feature bad people as their protagonists. Anti heroes that wind up saving the day despite their own self interest. Bad Santa is not really one of those films. And note that we're going to be talking spoilers in this video. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man. The lead character here is one of the most miserable, self-loathing, alcoholic, awful lead characters in any film that I can recall. He hates everything and everybody, seems intent on drinking himself into an early grave, is apparently incapable of forming any kind of meaningful relationship with anyone, and worst of all, he perverts the role of Santa Claus merely to gain access to department store safes, flush with cash on Christmas Eve. He hates his life, of course, and as he says, I've seen some pretty shitty situations in my life, but nothing has ever sucked more ass than this. If I'd known I was gonna have to put up with a bunch of screaming brats pissing on my lap for 30 days out of the year, I would've killed myself a long time ago. Willie, as played by Billy Bob Thornton, is indeed awful, but that is one of the ways in which Bad Santa distinguishes itself from your ordinary, run-of-the-mill, I hate Christmas movies. Bad Santa is willfully and gleefully profane to a degree that is rarely seen even in movies that aren't about Christmas. This is a movie that features a man pissing himself. Uh, I piss myself. What the f Attempted to commit suicide in front of a child. I want you to take this letter. Engaging in sex in a department store dressing room. You ain't got a shit right for a week. Beating the shit out of teenagers. Oh, oh God. And any number of other horrible behaviors. And that's even disregarding the fact that the man is a thief to boot. Preparing for his seventh year in a row of putting the least effort possible into his Santa routine in order to gain access to department store safes, Willie's life was slipped around by the sudden intrusion of The Kid, a portly, snot-nosed, mentally challenged 10-year-old who seems to be gently obsessed by the possibility that Santa Claus really exists and has taken up shop at his local mall. Marcus, get this kid off me before he pisses on me, all right? Fuck with my beard. Willie, as he has wants to do, initially views the kid as just another sack of flesh that he can take advantage of, as indeed he does when he steals the kid's father's car and empties out the safe in his house. Need money to fix your sleigh? Exactly. The script of this movie must have been intimidating for any actor to want to take on, even if Bill Murray and Jack Nicholson were both interested in portraying Willie. As it is, Billy Bob Thornton seems to have thrown himself into it with nary a world of complaint, being more than willing to curse out children and perform horribly unspeakable acts on camera, all in the name of comedy. I'm on my fucking lunch break, okay? That comedy is, again, usually of the profane sort, with a few good instances of testicular damage thrown in for good measure. You don't get people in the balls, you asshole! Most of the funniest moments in the film come when Willie has to relate to the kid's horribly naive and non sequiturish view of the world, as when Willie learns that the kid is being bullied. I told you I didn't want to do this! Making me out! The film isn't perfect, of course, and it coasts along on a sea of profanely and sometimes poorly defined relationships rather than producing any kind of finely tuned plot. Lauren Graham, as Willie's girlfriend Sue, is given a particularly thankless job as a woman who seems attracted to Willie, despite the fact that he has effectively no redeemable qualities whatsoever. No, it's not that big a fucking deal. It's just a job, you know what I mean? I'm an eating, drinking, shitting fucking Santa Claus. Prove it. John Ritter, in his last film, is likewise given little to do as the manager of the store that Willie and his friend Marcus intend to rob. He simply disappears for the bulk of the film's denouement. But did one of you, um, fornicate? Fornicate? Yes, with a heavy set woman in the big and tall dressing room. Look, I've boned a lot of fat chicks in my time, sure. But, uh, as far as I can recall, I've never fornicated anybody. Of course, in the end, Willie's relationship with the kid is the source of his redemption, although that redemption is nothing like what you might expect from a standard Christmas movie. Having been betrayed by Marcus, his partner in crime, Willie only wishes to bring the kid his first Christmas present in years, except for the pesky fact that he's shot a half dozen times by the cops before he can do so. It is a climax that ends a bit too patly for what the film has established itself as, with Willie escaping most consequences for his actions, 
his girlfriend taking custody of the kid, and everyone living happily ever after. Or so it would seem. Still, this isn't a movie that requires you to be invested in his plot to enjoy. The reason you watch this film is to see Billy Bob Thornton be an asshole as he undeniably is. He is a man of small dreams that struggles even to achieve the modest goals he sets out for himself, dragged down always by his need for sex and alcohol. The mask that he wears to achieve his goals depresses him unspeakably, and even the money he earns is always gone within the year. Despite every reason we have to loathe this person though, his hatred for Christmas, though excessive, is still notably cathartic for all of us who hate the mollification of what should be a time to spend with family and friends. I my pants. Oh, Bad Santa is unlikely to be challenged in the arena of crassness by any anti-Christmas film anytime soon. But even if it is, it'll still stand alone as a remarkable portrayal of a horrible man. And that, of course, is something to celebrate. And that, of course, is why Bad Santa is a very special Christmas screened bestie. I beat the shit out of some kids today. But it's for a purpose. Made me feel good about myself. It was like I did something constructive with my life or something. I don't know. Like I accomplished something. You need many years of therapy. Many, many, many fucking years of therapy. <laughs>